Go ahead and open up your workbooks to page 18. Today we're going to be learning about complex fractions and how we can solve unit rate problems that have complex fractions in them. So we're starting on page 18. You can go ahead and pause this video if you need to find it. Before we start talking about the stuff that is over here, I want to remind us of one thing that I want us to write down in this little work zone area over here. Starting with the fraction 1 half. If we've got the fraction 1 half, every fraction is a division problem. And we could rewrite this fraction as 1 divided by 2. Every single fraction is also a division problem. And this fact is going to be really important for what we're going to be doing today. The first thing we're going to talk about is how to simplify a complex fraction. Fractions like 20 over 1 third are called complex fractions. Complex fractions are fractions with a numerator, denominator, or both that also have fractions. So a complex fraction is like a fraction inside another fraction. We want to simplify complex fractions so that they look like normal fractions. They don't have fractions inside of fractions anymore. So let's take a look at one example. Here they say simplify 1 fourth over 2. And here I can see how this line right here is a little bit longer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make that line even longer so I can see this is the numerator of the fraction. This is the denominator of the fraction. So I know it's 1 fourth over 2. I know it's not 1 over 4 halves because this line is too short. This is 1 fourth over 2. And it says recall that a fraction can also be written as a division problem. We can do 1 fourth divided by 2. That's going to help us simplify it. So you can see they wrote 1 fourth divided by 2. And when we divide by fractions, we want both of these to be fractions. So let's go ahead and draw over 1 under that 2. So we have 1 fourth divided by 2 over 1. And when we divide by fractions, we know we do keep, keep the first one the same, change, change it to multiplication, and flip. 2 over 1 turns into 1 half. So now we have 1 fourth times 1 half and if we multiply straight across, we get 1 eighth. So 1 fourth over 2 is equal to 1 eighth. This complex fraction was now simplified to equal a more normal fraction, a fraction that we're used to seeing. Let's try one of those examples together. We're going to skip example 2. I want you to go down to example A right here. We're going to do A together. Now, let's see. I'm going to look for the line that's the longest. This line looks the longest. I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit longer. You can go ahead and write down what I'm writing, so this example is in your book as well. It's 2 over 2 thirds. Now I know every fraction is a division problem, so I'm going to do 2 divided by 2 thirds. 2 divided by 2 thirds. I want this to be a fraction though. That'll help me divide fractions. 2 over 1 divided by 2 thirds. Now I'm going to do my keep, change, flip. Keep the first one the same. Change division to multiplication. And flip this over. Now we can just multiply straight across. 6 over 2, which we can simplify that. 6 over 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, which equals 3 over 1, which just equals 3. So we simplified this complex fraction into a regular fraction, or in this case, a whole number. Right now, go ahead and pause this video, and I want you to try B, C, and D on your own. Once you have finished these problems, we're going to talk about how to solve unit rates 
when there are fractions in them. So we're going to be on this page, but I want us to go all the way down to the bottom. These examples are here to look at if you need. But we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to do question E together. It says Mr. Ito is spreading mulch in his yard. He spreads four and two thirds square yards in two hours. Sounds like a rate that we could write. How many square yards can he mulch per hour? I'm going to underline this per hour part so that I know they want to figure out how much how much mulch can he do in one hour so I know I want my denominator to be one hour so let's see I'm gonna set up a rate here I'm gonna do four and two-thirds yards YD stands for yards over two hours Remember, I want to have my units there so that we know what we're talking about. We're not just talking about random numbers. And now I know that I want to see how much can they do per hour. That's why I wanted my hours on the bottom. So I'm going to divide by 2 to get my unit rate where the denominator is 1 hour. Because 2 divided by 2 is 1 hour. But now up here, I've got a kind of messy fraction thing that I want to divide. Four and two thirds divided by two. Well, I know I don't want this fraction to be a mixed number. I want it to be an improper fraction because that'll help me divide. So let's see, four times three is 12. 12 plus two is 14. I'm gonna write this over here. This is 14 over three divided by two. Now when I divide fractions, I want them both to be fractions. Now they look like something that I know how to divide. Okay, let's see. Keep 14 over three, change times, and then flip one half. <clears throat> All right, 14 times one is 14 over three times two, which is six. I can simplify this. Divide by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now we have an improper fraction. I want to make this or, uh, back to a mixed number. So let's see. 3 can go into 7 two times. And then there's 1 third left. So let's go ahead and bring that answer. Oh, can't see what I wrote there, sorry. 7 thirds equals 2 and 1 third. Let's bring that answer back over here. 2 and 1 third yards per hour. And that's our answer. Mr. Ito can mulch 2 and 1 third yards per hour. Now if there's time, go ahead and take a look at F. Try to solve F in this green space that it gives you right here if you have time.